Now, uh, we can also uh, override the value of our browser uh, with this annotation as well. And then I can simply uh, say driver is equal to Chrome. And if let's say we have uh, given the driver value as Firefox over here, and if I run this now, I'll say right click, run as Maven build, clean verify. So then I see instead of uh, Firefox, the Chrome browser will gonna launch. And the navigation should happen around, navigation and execution should happen around Chrome. Right? So there, there is one most uh, important class in uh, case of Serenity framework. Uh, that is one of the super class that we're gonna extend over here which is called as page objects. This is one of the most important Serenity framework class. So uh, page object basically, not page objects, right? So uh, now like when you add this class, this class actually provides you a lot of features and functionality which will provide you a way of writing uh, the code in a very effective manner in a very optimized way, provide you some functionality which will uh, help you with a lot of locator strategies as well, right? So what all this uh, class will gonna contain, we're gonna look at it very soon, but it has to be imported through uh, the Serenity uh, uh, core pages itself, right? Now what uh, changes that we can do to our existing code, uh, instead of uh, writing it like this, uh, I can even uh, comment it out and I can call it from the properties file as well. And then over here, I simply need to call a method that is uh, open. So open will actually gonna navigate. That's it. Now if I save this and run it again, let's see if it navigates to that particular URL or not. So I'm gonna say maven build clean and verify. See, navigate it to Google and then quit, right? So this is how, uh, like this is a predefined method inside that particular class, right? And uh, some more thing that we can do is uh, on this particular test, if I write at the rate title, and I'll give the title, let's say, uh, executing login test. Let's see what all things we can optimize over here. So this title will be added to your report basically. So if uh, you again run this, run as maven build. And if you again look back at your reports, once they generate it, so refresh it, go to your test results, and you can see executing login test shown over here, right? So this is what uh, the title that's being added to your test. So whatever that you're gonna give over here, right? So you can define the titles uh, to your test, you can, uh, even use uh, some customized methods uh, instead of uh, writing this uh, driver uh, we can take a unique instance of driver a unique thread of driver using a method called as get driver get driver dot find elements now this method is actually coming from this page objects if you do control and do a mouse over click on this you should be able to see you should be able to get the driver reference from this uh, setter and getters over here, right? So there are a lot of methods in, uh, inside this page objects, uh, which will help you in doing a lot of things. You can set timeouts for explicit, implicit weight, set the page URLs, then something for uploading files, 
right? Switch to a page. Implicit get implicit wait timeout. So this will tell you uh, what is the by default timeout for implicit wait, right? So a lot of things are there. So this is basically a huge uh, page object class that I was talking about, right? So how are we gonna use it? Uh, that is what we're gonna see step by step. So if we go over here, if I again run this test, I should be able to run it easily. So run as Maven build, clean and verify. And see and now if I show you some more features uh, instead of get driver uh, driver dot final instead of using this I'll just copy this paste it I can also call one of the letters find right so I need not to write the complete thing simply find you can use by name, by xpath. If you're using xpath, the xpath should be something like this. At name equal to, and give it in single quotes. So this is the xpath, right? So locators, you can use by CSS, by xpath, right? All, all locators are available. So if I again run this, <coughs> see, again it worked, right? Now even if you don't want to write uh, this much thing, you can simply uh, say, uh, dollar over here right so for xpath for uh, CSS you can directly use dollars and if you run it now it will still gonna work See, so this is how uh, beautifully they have designed all these uh, approaches, right? So you need not to write the complete code. Even if you want an optimized uh, keyword for it, uh, there's a keyword called as uh, type into. You can see type into uh, web element and then the value. So web element, I want to type into this and the value Hello, Serenity. Right. Save and run. See, so a lot of cool features are there, right? So uh, another thing uh, that you may have heard about uh, or may have used uh, it in Selenium, uh, one of the thing called as page factory, right? So page factory can be defined over here as well by uh, at the rate find by same approach. We're gonna say name equal to uh, Q. And then we're going to define a web element, web element, Google search, import it, import it through Serenity, find by, and then uh, 
instead of giving this element over here, give this web element. Right. Right click. Uh, right click on your project. Uh, run as Maven build. And let's see. So you can see so many ways of writing your test, right? Whichever you are comfortable and whichever you feel it's a simplest way where you need to write a very less code, you can try using that approach, right? You want to get the title of the current page. So simply say get title. That's it. So all these methods are coming from page object class itself and then print it. Right click uh, on your project, run as Maven build. And let's see. Right, and the title is Google. Right, so here we got the title. Right. So that's all in this lecture. In the next lecture, uh, we're going to look at some more uh, functionality that is available in the page object. Thank you.